Well, good morning, YouTube. Well, it's morning here where I am, anyways. But uh, KD2 ETP, another video about... Um, this one's going to be on the SDS100. Um, I'm going to hook up this GPS unit, puck GPS unit that I bought on uh, Amazon. It comes with a USB power cord that you got to plug in. And then the uh, it splits once to the... Um, the GPS and the other one goes to your radio right here. So I'm going to turn this radio on just so you can see how long it takes for this thing to, to boot up. It does take a second because it goes through all the databases um, where you are. And so you can see it's loading the full New York database. So that's everything across the entire state. And then after it goes through that, it'll go through... Um, my favorite list, which I think I have two counties on, Broome County and um, Onondaga County, because I was down in Broome County when um, I purchased this initially, so I, I put that one in, which I'll probably take out eventually. But So there you can see it's in Broome County, that one goes, and Onondaga, they go pretty fast. So, And then it's on. So typically around here, I'm on the Central New York Interoperability okay. Communication and there you go you can hear so if i push this button here it brings up the volume push it again and i go back to the display so one interesting feature is when you hook up the um and i'll plug that in give me a second here sorry and it goes right in the side of the unit here so sorry i'm having a hard time holding this and doing that and then i'll plug this into here thank you so I got the USB plugged in now, and I'll just put this up here. You can see the lights on on it, which means that it's on and it's working. 461, you are clear. It's been sent. 451, you can disregard. So you can see I'm getting a good reception here. The GPS, if I go to the menu here, let me do that. So now to get to the menu, you got to push the button on the side. It would be like where your push to talk button is on a regular HT, let's say. And then you use this to scroll through. So I'm gonna use set my location, and then I click, this is a, a dual function button. So I'll click that, and this is where you can set um, how you want the radio to pick up the signals you're in. Now currently, uh, because I have the GPS set up, I'm going to, um, you can do one of two things. You can either auto-locate because it's got the GPS on and it'll um, auto-locate through the GPS. Or you can go, um, or you can do a manual location and then there's a set up the GPS. So let's go to that. And uh, I think that's right. All right. And then, so I went there now to get back to the main menu. I got to go here. So. Um, you can manually put in your location on the uh, to set up the GPS, but you don't really need to do that. So what I'm going to do is check the range, 30 miles, that's good. So now it's going through and it's going to auto-locate where I am within 30 miles and give me everything within 30 miles of where i am let's say so you got to wait for that to go through and of course it'll load my favorites um, your favorites will always be located unless you turn them off so now you see that the top isn't lit up anymore because it did a new boot with the gps and i wanted it to locate through the gps so typically around here I keep it on the Central New York Interoperability, and uh, that um, is linked through pretty much just about all the police and fire agencies throughout the um, New York. So you can see Madison County coming up. So if I want to save that, I can hit this button right here where it says channel up above my thumb, and that'll stay right on that one. And now it'll... Um, It'll just keep me on there to see if I want to continue to listen to that particular channel. But if I want to keep scanning, I can just hit that again, and it'll go back. Then the other thing is you can hit 
this this one. Five nine nine zero. So you got the Oneida County. I can hit that, and now I'm just going to stay on the interoperability and the Oneida County law enforcement channels, let's say. And you can see that the bottom now goes into ID because those are the individual channels that it's scanning within the Onondaga County law enforcement on the Central New York interoperability. So we can get rid of that again. So by hitting, oops, hitting that button again, that takes it off of there. So now it's going to scan through the full Central New York. So you can see here, here's Oswego comes up. And that's kind of the neat function. You can listen to um, everything across the state that's tied into this interoperability, which, again, like I said, is just about all the uh, county law enforcement as well as um, county uh, fire. So if I want to get rid of that and I want to scan the full database that's on there in the 30-mile range, I just hit this button. So these buttons are nice. If you come up to a signal that you're, um, uh, or you're getting a frequency that you want to listen to, depending on which part of it you want to listen to, um, you can click on and hold it there. So I'm going to go back to Central New York interoperability because I, I don't know what happened there, but for some reason it shut off on me. But anyways, um, so yeah, you can find out what's going on in your area as well as all over the the area that you live in and uh, with, out to a certain range. So now when you have the GPS plugged in and you're driving around, this will auto-locate you and adjust the, um, adjust the different um, uh, channels, let's say, that you, um, you are going through. So uh, I guess uh, a better way to say that would be It'll, it'll auto sense where you are. So, and of course, it'll adjust that 30 mile range. And every once in a while, you'll see when you're driving, it'll go back through and it'll go back to that, the beginning, like when you turned it on, and it'll rescan and uh, set up where you are due to the location uh, based on the GPS unit installed. So, interesting. Being as though I'm not driving right now, um, it's just going to stay where it is. So if I move this, it'll switch to these channels. But because this one I have highlighted, it won't do anything to the top one. But it'll move these uh, this channel. So again, you got to push this button to bring up the volume, and then push it again if you you know to get the extra information. It does give you a lot of information on there. Four five three arrived. Six fifty eight. And there's a ton of features on this. So if you're interested in a nice what? scanner and you have the money, I um, I highly recommend this one. Or, I don't know, if you want one for your house, they make a base station one. It's the SDS-200. Um, if you're not going to take it mobile with you, I kind of like listening to it sometimes when I'm on long drives and whatnot. So... If you are going out of state or something like that, because I travel a lot for work, I can hook this GPS up and while I'm driving, and it'll automatically update where I, um, uh, based on the location that I am through the GPS, which is kind of nice. So when you get outside the range that's currently on there, it'll update, and then it'll give you a whole nother range. So that's an interesting feature and function of this. I really enjoy that part of it because, like I said, I do travel a lot. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little uh, video on the uh, SDS-100. We'll be doing some more videos on this, I'm sure, in the future when I am uh, do some more traveling. Lately, I've been local, which has been nice. Um, when I do do some traveling, we'll do some more with the GPS, and I'll show you exactly how that works um, in real time, let's say. KD2ETP, 73.